Hey friends, time for a quick review. We've already learned a bit about leaves and we've learned about the leaves on Prunus the black cherry. The purpose of these leaves on this maple tree is to absorb sunlight so then the tree can make its own food. Pretty cool, isn't it? Wow, friends, it's so beautiful out here today. I've noticed something. When I look around, I've noticed that every tree has its own leaf shape. So all the leaves on any one given tree are all the same shape, pretty much. They may vary in size, but they all have the same shape. Let's look at some leaf shapes and see if you can kind of remember what trees they are. Look at this one right above me. Wow, so beautiful out here. Well, I'll bet this leaf shape looks familiar. This is a, these are maple leaves. Maples, there are many kinds of maples. This one is the sugar maple, probably the one that's the most common. Notice the leaf shapes are very similar. They're all leaves from the same tree. This leaf shape is sugar maple. Nice. We get maple syrup from sugar maples. Awesome. Wow, check this out. These are leaves from a mighty oak tree. And this one, because the little lobes are like the little arms that come off the leaf, those lobes are rounded, so we know this one is called white oak. So this is the leaf shape of white oak. Notice they vary a bit in size. These are ones I found on the ground under this beautiful oak tree. This is the leaf shape of white oak. Hello, white oak. Wow, look at this mighty white oak. That's a tall tree. White oaks can get very large and they produce tasty acorns. Squirrels and deer and chipmunks love those acorns. Hello, white oak. Red oak has a similar leaf shape to white oak, except the arms or lobes on the leaves are pointed. Notice the pointed lobes on red oak. Points, points, points everywhere you look. So this is red oak. Red oak has a distinctive, a different leaf shape. If you see a leaf that looks just like that, it's a red oak. They produce acorns also. Oh, there goes one. It's not a joke. It's red oak. <laughs> red oak. See the pointed lobes? probably recognize the bark of this tree. Doesn't that just look like our friend Prunus, the black cherry? It's another black cherry tree. Look at that bark. Let's take a look at the leaves. Remember the leaf shape of black cherry? They kind of look like long footballs, don't they? That's the leaf shape of black cherry. It has little tiny teeth on its edges and it has points on the top. And there's the leaf stem. Black cherry, like our friend Prunus. This big tall tree has lost quite a few of its leaves already. The leaves fall early on Eastern Cottonwood. Eastern Cottonwood's a really cool tree. We have quite a few at Blanford Nature Center. The leaf shape looks like this. Kind of looks like an upside down heart, doesn't it? Eastern Cottonwood. Really cool leaf. Hey, check it out. Look at Eastern Cottonwood. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Kind of shaped like a heart, isn't it? Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Eastern Cottonwood. I'll bet you remember this leaf, don't you? That's right, it's sugar maple. Good job. Wow, some leaves are really showing the colors now. These are dogwood leaves. This is a plant called gray dogwood. And it grows as a small tree or shrub. And right now the leaves are beautiful. Look at it. Wow, dogwood. Now are you ready for the leaf fight? Here we go. Watch out. Boom. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Enjoy leaves this fall. The blue jays are talking to each other. Here's another leaf shape that many of you know. 
This tree is quite common at Blanford Nature Center. This is sassafras. Notice it has different leaf shapes. It has a leaf that's shaped kind of like a ghost, I guess. And it has leaves that are shaped like mittens. That one's kind of a mitten shape. And then it has some leaves that are just shaped like footballs. So sassafras has three different leaf shapes on the same tree. That's the only tree in Michigan I know that does that. Sassafras, look at that. I love the ghost leaves. Ooh. Check it out, friends. There's sassafras leaves. Look at that, three leaf shapes from one tree. One shaped like a mitten, one shaped like a ghost, and one like a football. Sassafras. Wow, nature truly is marvelous. Now for your assignment, match the leaf shapes to the names of the trees that we just looked at. Trees are like our neighbors. We should get to know them and get to know their names. So go out and get to know the names of these wonderful trees. Have fun, friends.